welcome everybody to Very Important Geeks, and today we are talking about this guy, the Erisu keyboard by Nico and Steph Studios. But before we get started, I want to apologize for the slowdown in my video upload cadence. I've been really busy these past couple of months with the show, but I am back on the train and hopefully that cadence will pick up soon. And if you ever put together a keyboard just to realize you didn't put any stabs in before you tried to put your switches in and had to take it all apart, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more nonsense. Well, Arisu is the transliteration in Japanese of the word Alice, which refers to this split keyboard layout. And this one is the 65% stacked all acrylic version with a hot swap PCB. Now the Alice layout is supposed to be a little more ergonomical, so instead of typing like this with your elbows sort of close to your body, they're flayed out a little more, which is a little more relaxed, puts a lot less pressure on your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders. Obviously that is not matte black, but don't worry, that brown paper is a protective film. Now you want to go ahead and look at all your pieces and make sure that you have everything and begin peeling away. No, I want to be really careful with these thinner body pieces. I guess if I break or crack one of these, that's it. And these are rather flexible. I mean, it's still acrylic and somewhat strong, but I'd rather not chance it. Once everything's been nicely peeled, go ahead and do a dry assembly to make sure that you know how this fits together. Now because it is a 65% layout, the arrow keys throws it a little bit off center, so you want to make sure that all your pieces are actually oriented the right way. Now the last two top pieces are going to be optional, depending on whether you want a low profile look or a high profile look. Once everything's been put together and you're pretty confident with how it's going to go, go ahead and put your standoff screws through the top of the plate and then secure them with a single nut. Now go ahead and put that plate upside down, take your PCB, flip it upside down as well, and try to align the PCB to the screws. Now because that plate is flexible, those screws may need to be wiggled around a little bit and flexed to get them to align properly with the holes in the PCB. Once the PCB is secured and aligned with the plate, go ahead and take the leftover nuts and using those standoff screws, go ahead and secure the PCB to the plate. Now it's time to assemble the bottom tray. Go ahead and take the bottom piece and turn it right side up, and then put in all the middle pieces. Now take the longer hexagonal nuts and thread them through all the middle pieces to align them correctly. And because I think all boards could use a little bit of muting, I went with my old trusty zip and fit and put that on the bottom of the tray. Now secure the risers on the back to give you a little bit of a typing angle. And go ahead and secure the rest of the screws to complete the bottom tray. Now it's time to flip it all over, add the top plates, and secure it all together. I chose some linear Zaku switches with a dual stage spring and really snappy poppy feel that I wanted to pair with this. So if you're doing that, go ahead and lube everything together. These Zakus have really tight housing so I didn't feel the need to film them. And unfortunately, I finished putting in all my switches before I realized, with deep sadness, that I forgot to put in stabilizers. Now there was no choice but to take everything apart and start all over and put in the stabilizers and test them. Like I should have, I just got two in the zone. And then some final keycap magic. So let's go to a sound test. So after having used this keyboard for a couple of weeks now, I'm really digging the Alice layout. It is a lot more comfortable. I don't feel like I'm having to squish back and push my elbows into my body like this. So when I transfer to a more normal layout QWERTY keyboard, it does feel like a lot more tension in my shoulders and my arms. Um, and this is a much more relaxed, more natural position I feel like for sure. 
It did take me a little bit of time to get used to the split layout just because the keys are in a slightly different configuration. Apparently I was typing more things with my right hand on the left side of the keyboard than this really allows. So I had to learn to type things like the B with my left thumb, which I guess I never used to do before. But after a while, everything was right as rain and I was good to go. Now, because the Alice layout splits the keyboard down the middle and it splits the spacebar too, you won't find any keys on here larger than 2.75U. So make sure you pick a keycap set that accommodates those sizes and also the right stabs. Now, because it is a stacked acrylic case, that means that the whole body is just several layers of cutout acrylic. And because of the cutout process and just variations, it's gonna be very hard to get all the sides and corners and everything to line up smoothly. You will always be able to tell that it is just a bunch of stacked layers. Uh, so if you look here, you'll see there are just minor variations. Um, some are a little, uh, closer to the edge than others. It doesn't line up 100%, but it's not terrible uh, in my opinion. I think it's totally doable. It doesn't bother me in the least. Now the Arisu is also VIA compatible, so I was able to go in and switch out a bunch of keys to my needs. I switched out some of those bottom rows for the Command, Alt, because I'm using a Mac setup, so that worked out pretty perfectly. Final thoughts, I really like the Irisu. The price point is really good for what you get. It was my first time building an acrylic keyboard, so it was a neat experience for me. Definitely take some of the learnings and lessons that I had there. Always remember to put on your stabs first and test them out before assembling your keyboard. You'd think I'd know that by now, but sometimes you just forget. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We should have a Hot Swaps episode coming up with some upcoming group buys, and we've got a couple of Keychron keyboards on the way, so very excited to check those out too. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you are enjoying an Alice keyboard right now, which one? And if you want to stay up to date on all that keyboard goodness, go ahead and hit that subscribe, hit that like, hit that notification bell, support me on Patreon if you can. And until next time, geek out.